Good morning and welcome back to Margin. This morning I wanna talk about part two of this 10 steps to build your credit. So let's jump right into it. So the sixth step in increasing your credit score comes down to the length of credit history. This is 15% of that FICO weighted um, score. And so 15% of that is attributed to this aspect. And so that's why it's important for you to hold off on closing credit lines, uh, especially if they're aged, especially if it's some credit card that you've had since college maybe, or, or, um, or something that you've had um, for a, a, a longer period of time. It's important for you not to close those credit uh, lines that uh, don't have that underlying asset. And so what I mean by that is oftentimes you get a mortgage, uh, you get a loan for your house, you get a um, auto loan, or you get something that has an underlying asset attached to it. Um, so, so with that, if you go and pay off that car, uh, or if you go sell your house, uh, you're oftentimes not able to keep that loan open. In fact, you're not able to keep that loan open because of the fact that that has to have a clean and clear title uh, to the next owner. And so and so with that, uh, usually this comes down to uh, your credit card or your line of credit, but oftentimes it can be helpful if you uh, if you pay off those loans, but you don't you don't close them and you don't close them because uh, they are actually allowing for this component of your FICO score to be improved. And if you have longer credit history, this actually helps you in the long run uh, from a standpoint of, of improving your FICO score. So the seventh step in improving your credit really comes down to new credit. It comes down to a weighted score of 10% of your FICO score. And so with that, it's important for you not to have too many inquiries during a short period of time on your credit. And there's certain provisions for, let's say mortgages, if you want to shop around rates, uh, that, uh, that if you shop during a certain period of time, that it will only uh, hit your credit once. But for a lot of other products like um, credit cards or, or other loan inquiries, you have to be mindful about the number of inquiries on your credit report. And this aspect is only 10%, but it's still 10% nonetheless, and so you wanna be mindful of it. So the eighth step in building your credit comes down to your credit mix. And for your FICO uh, score, this has a weighted uh, percentage of 10%. And so you wanna be mindful of the number of different accounts you have open and making sure that you have a proper mix of those accounts. So step nine in building your credit comes down to maintaining your credit and actually pulling your credit score on an annual basis so that you can review it and take it through these steps to make sure that you uh, don't have too many of a certain type of, uh, of, of credit accounts so that you can see if uh, everything from your payments are being reported properly and making sure your personal information is reported properly. So actually maintaining your credit and actually being mindful of what is on your credit report is important. So step 10 in building your credit comes down to coupling this process with your plan to spend. And why this is in there is because you want to be able to know where you're at from a, uh, a standpoint of your credit report, but then you wanna be able to calibrate that against what your goals are from a financial standpoint. And you want to manage your credit well, but you also wanna make sure that you don't forget about managing your money well. So coupling these two processes of, of building your credit and also building a plan to spend will allow for you to have a dynamic duo so that you are intentional about your finances. So my call to action today is for you to not only take in this information, but for you to apply this in your plan to build margin to life and your plan to, to ultimately look at your vision, break that down into your plan to spend and align that plan to spend with the process of building your credit. If this information is helpful to you, please do like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you're reminded to come back on a daily basis to improve 
in managing your personal finances. Thank you for your time. Enjoy your day and we'll see you back here tomorrow.